Bijou scared. Bijou came in today for a, a dental cleaning and Bijou has a little bit of an overgrowth in the gum area. We took some blood and I'll show you what the blood showed us. And really the, the result of it all, the lab work that we did, is that Bijou is, I'm going to wait to administer anesthetic and do a teeth cleaning and cut that piece of work to go through the gum out. Because sometimes it's better to, if, if it's not critical and a teeth cleaning and cutting out a piece of gum isn't critical, the blood work that we ran showed us that there's a low white blood cell count. We ran it twice because there might be laboratory error and it still is low. What that could mean is that the, the body's not producing white blood cells there's some kind of wacky thing going on in the marrow, maybe a cancer. Could mean there's a vitamin or trace mineral deficiency and the white blood cells aren't being produced. Or it could be an immune problem that's taking the white blood cells out of the system. But since Bijou feels so good, we're just going to like to wait a few weeks and then test it again later. Right, Bijou? Aren't you lucky? You didn't have a dental today. Epulus that Bijou has is uh, the red gums right near my thumb around the tooth on his mouth. It's not a critical thing. Many dogs will get an overgrowth of gums and we're going to elect to wait to get those. Uh, we usually will cauterize those or burn those and we're going to wait because the mouth is a dirty place and without white blood cells Bijou might just get an infection. So we're going to wait before we do his dental cleaning and uh, cauterize those gums. Bijou's white cell count is very low. We see that on the printout from the lab machines. Then you can see on the slide there's all kinds of red blood cells which are little circular discs but no white blood cells. But there are platelets there which help keep the blood within the veins and arteries. White blood cell is count as low. It should be 5.5 and it's 4.21. And of those white blood cell counts there's neutrophils and lymphocytes and monocytes. There's all kinds of different white blood cells. But the neutrophils, the ones that fight infection, are very low. They're only 0.84 and they should be 2%. So in this case, the blood, the blood count has showed us that Bijou has lower white blood cells than normal. Why would that be important? Well, if we're going to do a procedure on the teeth and gums where there's a lot of bacteria, they could go into Bijou's system. And what if Bijou didn't have enough white blood cells to fight the, the infection? So I'll show you something. On this, if you'll look right there and watch me move around on, this, on, this, on the microscope, that's uh, on the computer. Um, as I move around from slide to from uh, filled to filled we call it we're looking for white blood cells we don't see any so in the normal smear so in this smear we see white blood cells there should be two or three of them per filled there's two there's a lymphocyte and a white blood cell and there's some platelets and the rest are little discs or red blood cells that carry the oxygen the white blood cells are there to fight infection so one on the left is a lymphocyte and the one on the right is a neutrophil. And I'm pointing out the lymphocyte now and it helps with the antibody production and the, and the neutrophil, which Bijou doesn't have any of, uh, of this is a, another dog's blood, it, ha it, uh, it fights infection. Does not look happy, it looks like a smiling face with sunglasses on. That must be a California neutrophil. So the blood work that we run for animals uh, before surgery will show us whether the white blood cells and red blood cells are in big enough quantities to help them out during surgery. The red blood cells deliver oxygen and the white blood cells fight infection. Also the kidneys and liver take out the anesthetics that we inject in and uh, very, very important that they're in working order and the blood work also shows us that. So that's why we run blood work um, on animals. Most of the time it is normal. So we only catch 
the few that are sick, but if it was my animal, I'd want it be, I want my animal to be fine after the surgery. Most of the time, we don't need to run blood work on young animals. Uh, usually, the cutoff for our clinic is anywhere from six to eight years old, and we always offer it in case the client wants it, but it is expensive, so most say, hey, let's just, I think my dog's healthy, it looks healthy, I think it'll be fine. So check out Dog Dish Diet, my website. I uh, wrote a book about slow cooking for your dog. If you ever wanted to make food for your dog I, or your cat, i tell you how. It's really easy. A lot of recipes have a lot of preparation, a lot of ingredients. Mine is, mine's directed at the person that doesn't have a lot of time and just wants to plop some stuff in the crock pot, let it go for 12, 14 hours, take it out, put it in the fridge. Dog Dish Diet it educates you especially if your dog has allergies and feed your pet to avoid the vet. Talks about how to do a elimination diet if your dog has allergies, how to make cat food, how to make dog food, and all that stuff. So anyway, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoy making them, share what I do, and helping us all learn because the more we know, the better we can take care of our animals. Have a great day.